A Graflex clamp is a lightsaber part comprised of a metal fastening assembly that encircles the midsection of a vintage 1930s, 1940s era Graflex 3 cell flash gun. So a flash gun is a camera accessory and essentially this served as a mounting clip that allowed the flash gun to attach to the camera itself. So with Star Wars what happened was prop makers were looking for something that looked like a lightsaber and they decided to repurpose this Graflex flash gun as the Luke Skywalker lightsaber in Star Wars A New Hope. And so kind of the rest is history. The other lightsabers, you know, stemmed from this one. But the Graflex clamp is kind of a, a key piece uh, specifically to the lightsaber hilt as well. And, um, you know, when we actually have it on a lightsaber like this, we call this the activation box area or the kind of control box area. And then there's either a bubble strip on here or a clamp card. So in A New Hope, it used a bubble strip, you know, these calc bubbles from an Xactra uh, calculator. In later movies, it used more of this circuit board, um, this circuit board kind of style card. And there are a few different styles of that too. So, you know, a lot of times now people think of this activation box lightsaber, they associate it with especially the original trilogy lightsabers, you know, but, you know, lightsabers in general, people kind of think of with this control box. And it's just kind of this piece from the uh, Graflex clamp, the original Graflex clamp from the original Luke Skywalker prop. So that's pretty cool. Now the clamp itself, it um, the original um, kind of clamp itself, does have Graflex lettering on it. And for some of the movies, this was taped over. Some of the later movies, you know, they, they didn't actually use a real, you know, Graflex lightsaber um, anymore. They just, you know, made some original props in some cases. But um, yeah, they used some Mylar tape to cover, you know, this Graflex part probably you know, to make it seem more like the lightsaber is in universe rather than something out of our own world. Um, so that's a common thing that people will do, you know, to modify the uh, Graflex clamp. But, you know, it, it'll sometimes, um, you know, if you buy a, re a replica one of these anyway, sometimes you can buy it where it has this lettering on it, and this is a replica. <laughs> this is not an original. Um, other times people will print these, you know, just without the lettering at all, so that it just, you know, looks more in-universe, I suppose. So there are lots of different options for that, and it is a very important piece, you know, with lightsabers, and because a lot of people do associate kind of this clamp and just the, this activation box area with lightsabers, although certainly with dueling and spinning and other things like that, the activation box can get in the way, but, you know, <laughs> the, the, the origins of this activation box to begin with uh, just relate to it being attached to the vintage Graflex clamp. Now, finding an actual vintage Graflex clamp is a little bit tricky. They're kind of expensive, um, along with, you know, just the Graflex flash guns in general. A lot of Star Wars fans are looking for them to create kind of a very screen accurate, um, you know, Graflex style lightsaber. So it's a bit hard to find those, or, you know, when you do find them, they're kind of expensive. But there are plenty of great replicas out there. Um, and, you know, a lot of sellers will even just specifically sell this Graflex clamp and you know you can modify different lightsabers with it as well you know if you want to have kind of a familiar feel added to even a non graphic style lightsaber um, so you know some fans will do that now, some of the places that you can get Graflex clamps like this, um, Custom Saber Shop, you can always find some on eBay, just, you know, various sellers will sell them. Um, Etsy, sometimes you can find them too. Um, there's a store called the Graflex Shop. Um, that's a promising place to look for them. JQ Sabers, Roman Props, and the Saber Armory. Those are all kind of some common places you could look for a Graflex clamp like this if you're in the market for one. So this has just been kind of a quick look at the Graflex clamp. It's history, its origins, and its importance, you know, kind of with lightsabers in general.